right, what's up guys? How's it going? It's Justin. If you're new, you don't know who I am, welcome to the family. I'm a singer-songwriter. I've got some original music out. In fact, I'd love it if you check it out, so I will play a little video right now. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, if you want to listen to all my originals, all the links will be down in the description. I'll have like a playlist where you can binge listen to all of them. Anyway, for this video, I wanted to do something different and I wanted to react to Ariana Grande's new song, Thank You, Next. I've heard her version. I think it's so amazing. I think the song is so creative. I think she, she just did it in such a classy way and I'm so proud. I'm so excited for her. But I saw on YouTube trending that the 1975 just did their own version of it. I'm so dying to hear what it sounds like because I'm a huge fan of the 1975. Their old album with chocolate and girls. I remember I would put girls on on repeat for like days. We are going to react to the audio and then I'm gonna give my perspective as a singer and as a songwriter for you guys and maybe even give like some singing tips within it. So let's do this. Okay. Nice. Little vocal chop through a phaser. Hello. Okay. Listen that bass slide too. Okay, I gotta stop it right there. Listen to his technique, listen to his voice. Starts off with just a pure tone, goes to some vibrato. Shine with the vibrato on the end. Love it! He's so good. Okay, I gotta stop it right there, y'all. I am a sucker for some good gospel harmonies, that choir. I'm loving this, y'all. See, I love gospel music. I love old R&B music, like, you know, even music, Soul Child, D'Angelo, all those artists. And so I am so excited that the 1975 is doing this style. And it's even different from their older style, like from Girls. I heard their song, um, if it's Sincerity is Scary or something like that. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. But it kind of had that same like gospel choir vibe to it, which I absolutely loved. And I saw some of the comments on the video and some people didn't like it. I was like, what are you guys doing? This is so good. Are you kidding? So I'm a fan. Can't be hating on 1975, yo. Come on. That melody change. So for all the singers, for all the songwriters out there who like to do covers, who like to do remixes of songs, I think nothing is cooler or nothing is more fun to watch from my perspective when an artist will like take a song that's popular and remix it into their own vibe. Even just changing melodies. So for all the songwriters out there, for all the singers out there who are doing covers on YouTube, always think about like how could you put this original song into your own unique style or the style that you like to write songs in, like what the 1975's doing. So shout out to you guys, it's amazing. Mm. So, come on. Ah, I clean this. Listen to the emotion in his voice. <laughs> this one go last. Okay, I see you. On the video, he totally just like dropped some of his lyrics. You guys should watch the video. I'll have the video linked in the description. He just dropped his lyrics and it reminded me of a time when uh, when I was, I was covering a song. I was in a band in high school and I was covering this song. We were covering this song and I didn't know the lyrics that well. And so I literally like wrote like the lyrics on my hand. And so when we go to perform the song, it's like in front of a bunch of people. I forget what we were doing some party. I don't remember exactly, but anyway, I'm like singing and I'm like looking down at my hand. And then months later, I went to this like casting event of some sort and you know, like the the agent or whatever you would call them was there and met me and he's like, oh, I remember you. 
you're the guy who forgot his lyrics and looked down at his hand. I was like, yeah. So memorize those lyrics. Harmony. I'm so grateful for my You can totally tell that they just threw this together like last minute, but it's amazing. And I almost love that it's not perfect. Like I love that you can you can hear some of the imperfections and he's like, you know, he's like losing his lyrics, but that's what makes it so cool. And I even think like for the songwriters out there, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Like people like to watch the imperfections or they like to watch the mess ups or the ums or the, you know, just the, the, the imperfections because that's what makes it so unique and that's what makes it art because nowadays I feel like everything is just so like perfectly quantized on the beat everything's so perfectly tuned that it can take the feeling out of the song and I just I love this because I can like feel it like you can feel the emotion just the instrumentation that they put behind it is so great I'm a fan I'm a fanboy as you can tell I'm not a fanboy for many but for 1975 come on <laughs> That was amazing. What a remix of an already amazing song turned into something completely different. I'm such a fan. Comment below, what do you guys think? From a songwriter's perspective, what I loved about this, I'm not just trying to be corny and say everything that I loved, but I literally loved it. You know, I, it was so good. The thing that I loved most was how they just made the song their own and they switched it up completely. And I think that's something that is like songwriters and as singers, we should take to different covers that we do, to different, you know, remixes that we do. We should always try to do it in the original style rather than just taking like the karaoke version or something. The dynamics that, that Maddie has in his vocals, the lead singer of the 1975, is incredible where he'll just have like a pure tone and then he'll end it with a little vibrato, <laughs> just like that, right? Ah, what was that? Anyway, I guess the only thing I would say is learn from both of us and learn those lyrics, even though I kind of love the fact that he dropped the lyrics. I think that like adds to the whole aesthetic of the song. Even the drummer, I grew up a drummer and the syncopated beats that the drummer's doing are just incredible. I feel like such a fanboy right now. I'm just like, this is incredible. I was trying to like give my, <laughs> you know, opinion on it and <laughs> trying to analyze it. And all I'm saying is it's so good. I'm curious, do you guys like that or was it too much for you? I'm uh, honestly curious what you guys think. So leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to know your opinion and yeah, I'll go ahead and end it here. Hope you enjoyed this. If you're new, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you smash that subscribe button. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and smash that like button. Check out some of my original music. Playlist will be down below there. And yeah, I will see you beautiful people in the next video um, or next cover or yeah. Well, that cover would be a video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Much love. Peace.